Hi Pom Pom fam, welcome back to the Pom Pom Bros channel. Today we'll be talking about what kibble is made of and why dogs do not benefit from kibble at all. We know it's a very hot and debatable topic. We used to feed kibble when we first got our puppies for one to two days. However, they reacted horribly to them and we decided to take matters into our own hands and do our own research to find the best foods for our dogs. We're currently feeding raw meat, fruits, and sometimes sweet potatoes. If you want more information on the type of diet our dogs are on, please look in the description for more information. Without further ado, let's get into what is in kibble and is also known as dry dog food. Number one is meat and meat meal. This is most likely the lowest quality of meat that is used for dog food. It may include dead animals, diseased animals, disabled animals, or dying animals. A lot of these animals who were sick had tumors and they are not required to be removed before being grinded up into meat meals. Animals who were euthanized and picked up by a rendering company or expired meat from a grocery store that is deemed unfit for human consumption are in dog food as well. They would then be processed at very high temperatures multiple times, killing any nutrition, if any. Number two is rendered fat. Fat from wild game is minimal due to their natural way of life. However, fat from the animals mentioned to make meat meal is very detrimental to a dog's health. Dogs' bodies are not meant to consume a lot of fat. Fat from kibble are from animals that are diseased, dead, dying, and disabled, or euthanized, and so much more. They could even include laboratory tested animals with all sorts of chemicals in them. Constantly feeding our domesticated dogs kibble every day gives the body no time to detox and heal. Thus, wastes are stored in our dog's skin and fat as well. The fat also goes rancid quickly and other toxins start to form on the dried dog food. Number 3. Artificial Flavors Kibble is processed at high temperatures as mentioned previously and with added indigestible fats. Pet food manufacturers must add in artificial flavors to convince our dogs to eat it. They also use food coloring to make the kibble look visually appealing because without it, dried dog food would look nutritionless and dead. Number 4. Corn Corn is considered a whole grain and immensely difficult for a dog to digest. Although corn contains protein, it does not contain all the amino acids that are essential, not to mention it is not as bioavailable as meat sources such as lamb. Number 5. Nitrites and Nitrates Sodium nitrites is an approved preservative in pet food and can be toxic in high doses. It can cause blood disorders and has been linked to causing cancer. Number 6. Xylitol and other sugar alcohols Xylitol is deadly for your pets. It causes a surge in your dog's blood sugar and then a following drop. It can cause hyperglycemia as well as liver failure, seizures, and ultimately death. Number 7. Monosodium Glutamate also known as MSG. It is a flavor enhancer and often used to make up for lack of flavor and low quality ingredients. While MSG does not have to be on pet food labels, it will be hidden in other ingredients. Number 8. Corn Syrup It causes spikes in blood sugar and contributes to weight gain, obesity, and diabetes. It's addictive, so the more your dog eats it, the more of a sweet tooth he will develop. Number 9. Gluten can be found in grains such as wheat and barley, and in dog food it is used as binders to form the shape and texture of kibble. Grains have no place in a dog's diet and they have no use for it. These are only a few of the ingredients normally found in kibble or dry dog food. There are a lot more chemicals and indigestible ingredients that are shown on the label and hidden as well. Big pet food companies are very good at marketing and brainwashing dog parents into buying their products. The rule of the game is to find the cheapest ingredients and sell them for a high price. It seems as though if we don't feed kibble, then we are feeding an unbalanced diet or a dangerous, harmful, bacteria-filled diet. The problem with feeding a non-species appropriate diet is that in the long run, the waste and toxins will start to diminish your own dog's health. Once the primary organs of elimination such as the liver and kidneys become overburdened, other channels of elimination will come in such as the eyes, ears, nose, paws, and anal glands. You will see waste coming out from the ears which are commonly known as ear infections. Not necessarily, it's actually a detox symptom to save the body. Detox symptoms are something to celebrate but they will continue if we keep feeding our dogs waste products. However, once we stop the cause of disease, then detox symptoms will only be temporary. It may take months, one year, two years, or even more to expel all the garbage in our dog's body. Once the body's terrain is clean and returns to homeostasis, the body will no longer show allergy symptoms or disease symptoms. At the root of all health issues is too much toxins. The body isn't able to handle it. Remove the cause of disease and disease cannot develop. 
Fortunately, a lot of dog guardians are waking up and taking their dog's health into their own hands. Question everything that experts are telling you. When we bring in a furry friend into our family, it is our job to make sure they're healthy. Leaving it in the hands of veterinarians and scientists alone won't guarantee it. Our best teacher is nature. Observe the way dogs eat whole foods in the wild. This is the way they have evolved. Nonetheless, continue to do your research and provide the best lifestyle for your furry companions. Check out the resources in the description for more information. And thank you for watching Pom Pom Fam. See you next week. We love you.